Welcome back guys to the wonderful kingdom of Captania, March 9th, Daily Dungeon Derp. I just instantly saw Goblin, but I did see Wizard. Goblin, I kind of found out. Wizard, I'm happy about. Venture Cave, not too bad. It's like Den of Danger, but not Den of Danger. So, you know, it's going to be a thing. Alright, so, Troll Heart means, you know, more max HP in the end. Extra attack boosters means more damage in the end. As a wizard, do I really care? I don't really like the idea of fear glyphs, to be honest. I, I would like more glyphs, actually. The Adam's Earth Mother, blah, blah, blah. Eh, yeah, just go with the Pendant Mana. It's free. Oh, man, I get to pick between the Witch Lock Pendant and, well, Ben Lore. Witch Lock Pendant it is. And, you know, if I were going Ben Lore, I'd go with the Bear Mace. But today, not today. And let's go with the Blue Bead, too, while we're at it. I mean, quest time's cool. Let's not. Uh, let's... That, that... I did not pick this one. Um... Eesh. Okay, well, Wizard is more of a hybrid class. So let's just go with the extra health. And if nothing else, I can eat that for EXP. Yeah, yeah. I totally eat troll hearts. You all know my debilitating secret now. Okay. <laughs> when they said daily derp, they meant it. Alright, so let's see. Um, Alchemist scroll, that would mean even more HP. But I'm not really hurting for more H eh, HP or whatever. I have... Burned her as. So, you know, I'm not afraid to take on a level 5 at this point. So, let's see. We'll just burn him twice, then kill him. That works for me. I don't really care for the Wanna Fight right now. But I tell you what, in a minute I might. Now, the thing is, you can actually region fight pretty effectively at this level because the burn stack is so significant to a level 2. He's only going to heal one health per thing. Just like me, actually. And now that should do it. So I'll just burn him to death. There we go. I'm level two. I succeeded where I succeeded. All right, you're saying you, Frank? Well, I think, yeah. Uh, Dimitri, my friend, or Efros. I, I forgot his name already. Efosh. Was saying that this guy might be from you know Plants vs Zombies, or maybe it's just the fact that the last dungeon I played was full of zombies. I don't know. He doesn't look too hard. Um, I might need to save a whole uh, 20 gold for a whoop as though, because dang it, it's gonna take some doing. Spoon? I'm kind of interested in the spoon, but let's find out what else I can see. Alright, so the crystal ball still eats gold, but gives MP. That's great. I'm gonna be honest. Um, let's keep looking for level 3s. Or a bounce dagger. You know, I'll take that too. Uh, level 5, not right now. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute, level 5, in a minute. I mean, yeah, level 5. Yeah, I, I was able to take on something twice my level, but that was because the burn was helping that much. At this point, I'm not feeling it, so let's kill this level 1 and just to get by. And hey, it's Get In There. I love Get In There. Especially as a wizard, it's really cheap to cast. Not, you know, unfair, I mean, it's just cheap on the MP. Alright, well, let's stop talking about that and, you know, you just kill this guy, get cursed twice, and then get, kill this guy. Yep, I'm eating up my EXP. I need to find some level 3s. Alright, found the MP at least. Come on. Alright, well at least Venture Cave is kind of an easy dungeon. I mean, it's ranked normal. So you can actually, you know, waste a lot of resources without worrying too much. And then, boom. Sidestep. Yeah, let's go sidestep. That'd make me feel better about my life and my life decisions. Okay, so if I want to take on this level 5, could I smack smack? Um, and then double burn, huh? Double my burns? 24 damage. I'm only getting him down to, I don't know, 22. Yeah, I, I think I could, but, you know, I'm not feeling up to it just yet. So, give me a moment to think that over. Let's grab this and then finish him off. Hooray. Kind of liking the blue bead on how it's doing this. And I'm going to spend one burn just, you know, putting burn stacks on him and then get everything back. I didn't calculate this, it's just I had extra magic as compared to health, so I figured, you know, why not? And it couldn't hurt to just go ahead and smack him now and get poisoned. You know, I haven't seen any altars in here yet. Hmm. Alright, well, if that's the way it's going to be. A level 6, could I? Would I, could I, should I? I feel like yes. And yes, I have no regrets about losing my uh, death protection there, because it's back. Sidestep is wonderful stuff. 
Um, level 7, huh? A little interesting, I must admit, but... Mm, yeah, let's do it. But, if we're going to do that, we're going to put burn stacks on his face. And then we'll see who's better about this. There's I'm a wall. I, I really might as well pick up glyphs. Okay, so a level 1. Let's go and turn him into stone, just for the EXP bonus thingy right there. Yes. It's good. And then we'll get enough to... Oh, I didn't mean to grab that many. Then we will get enough to burn him a whole bunch. Now I just need a one square. Please tell me I left a one square behind. Yep, totally did. And boom. That was a lot of EXP. Totally worth it. He has a lot of darkness, but you know what? I think it's worth it. Alright, so we're level 5. I think I just took on a level... Seven, so you know, this isn't really out of my realm of ability to do, but let's not just yet. Another, well, that's a level eight, and he hits really hard, not hard enough to phase me, though. Okay, um, I'm thinking something you can do with the spoon if you're a wizard, by the way, or really any cheap item is if you recycle it, it'll pull 10 conversion points out of each glyph and convert that too. So that's actually pretty good. You can get all the conversion points out of your item without having to use it. I approve of it. Hero's Helm is tempting, but I don't have all the money in the world, so let's let's buy a spoon. For one gold, it's worth it. And you know, I already have small items, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, this could have been a speed run, but I decided not to let it be, so yeah. Tell you what. Let's uh, max out his burn stacks. And we'll just do that thing that we did again. And I'm doing this just to mostly explore, mostly. Here's two. Eh, it's Earth Mother. Okay. So we burn first because then, you know, the burns get the all the advantage of the burn stacks. And then we finish them off. Yeah, two levels and two kills. That's pretty good headway we're making. Let's see, I can smackity, smackity, get in there. Oh, I don't have to get in there. No, I have to get in there. Get in there and smack. And get some health back. I mean, get that back. I wouldn't mind having some health back. That would actually be very handy about now. You know, if I'm going to be burning a bunch, let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. Now let's get up to half health, and then we can sidestep again. We're not warlords, guys. We just ain't. Oh, man, three burn territory. Oh boy, um, Earth Mother. Oh, well, let's find out what's in here. This guy. Well, that was over quickly. I don't know though. I guess we're going to take on that level 9 over there. He looks like he could use some death. Smack, smack, burn, burn, get in there. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. In fact, since I'm so good at this, let's go and burn somebody else ahead of time thinking that guy and then boom and burn 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 <laughs> not bad not bad let's finish him off now I'm, I have health but I don't have magic I wish I had blood to power about now but all I have is these okay um Mount Kilimanjaro <sighs> I'm still only level 7 I think I've killed like all the level 8s or something well, I'll tell you what, let's just double burn him to into the ground. Shh. Yeah, you know me too well, but you know, at this point it's not worth it. There's only this like level 7 left and then that's it. Alright, alright. So this one is, okay, there is another level 7, but as soon as I kill either one of them, you know, it's going to be over. Let's see. I could w go with Glowing Guardian. It's awfully tempting, actually. But I think I just plantation my way to a burned out zombie. So that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Uh, oh, I'm getting a ton of physical resist and I didn't even really realize it. Okay. I mean, I approve of this. Uh, I I'm loving the witch lock pendant about now, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and level up off of somebody. This guy. And then we can... Um, I don't know, burn him three times, smack him, smack him. Oh no, we're all out of resources, guys. What on earth do we do? 
we start recycling things for points. Yes, that's what we're doing. Here, Tom, what else is cheap that I can buy? Besides the balanced dagger, as much as I would like. Okay, yeah, I'm just. I'm only one gold pile away from. Yeah, whatever. I'm fine with it. Let's recycle the spoon. Like I said, it's giving me a lot more than it should. It's giving me EXP. Any more glyphs I don't care about. Pissorf is usually a good glyph, so don't don't take that as a value judgment, guys. But dang it, I wanted to recycle something. And crystal ball. It does not convert for much. Does not convert for much. Okay. See you later, bounce dagger. Okay, now we should be able to, you know, get things at least on the go. Don't strike Gorgons when you're low on health. They're even worse than goblins. Even worse than goblins. Okay, so the blue bead's getting us some magic, and that's wonderful. I actually kind of approve of the fact that I unlocked it with... I think it was, uh... Sorcerer. Yeah, I had to do it with Sorcerer. Um, I can kill him, but he goes first. Remember that. Alright. And smack, smack, boom. Alright, that, that worked. That worked. It couldn't hurt to explore the rest to see what everything else was. The Fireheart, that, that would have that been helpful. Tiki Tuki. Um, he's kind of cool, too. I'm a level 8. Yeah, I could have used him. The Fine Sword. I would have liked the Fine Sword. And before I leave, I'm going to take all the potions. Because they're worth money. In fact, that's one way I was trying to get money really quickly was... Uh, just running into a dungeon, picking up all the potions, and then leaving. I know, I'm a terrible person. But whatever. Let's be petty while we're at it. Let's be completely petty about it. And... You. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Ding. Alright, any more sub-dungeons or whatever? There's probably one right there, but I don't have any access to get in there. Because I have, I'm a wall. I can make sure that the, whoever comes here next has a harder time getting in there. D does that count? That didn't count, did it? Alright. Oh, right. One less potion. Cool. Very cool. I mean, you know, it's kind of an easier dungeon, so I'm... What on earth? Give me a second. Alright, there we go. For some reason, hitting the exit button lit my hand on fire or something like that. 259 gold. And most of it's coming from... Oh wait. First victory with Wizard. Okay, so I haven't beaten this place as a Wizard yet. Nice. No new badges, though. Whatever. Let's see how everybody else did. 39. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring maybe a three-minute top speed. I'm right. Wow. How about my friends? Did you do this one yet? Nope. I'm still just the only one at the moment. Except yesterday. Yesterday, Dimitri beat me by a bit. A bit. But he did well. Cool. Cool. Not a bad daily dirt, but uh, I, I kind of want to showcase some of the harder dungeons. And I guess I have the weekend to do that, so I won't, you know, pester you guys about it. Here comes my diligence reward. 750 gold. Yay. Um, yeah, I went from 5 to 4. 87%. I'll get back up to 90% one day. One day. Uh, and you know what else? I, I kind of want there to be like gold, silver, bronze challenges for rat, major, rat monarch and stuff. But no. Not right now. Alright. Well, this has been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons Daily Dirt. I'll see you tomorrow with... Uh, I don't know. We're going to try to get chemists though. That, that's the main objective right now. See you tomorrow.